Hi, we're here with Stefan Biller, VP of Watson IoT at IBM. Welcome. Thank you, Ralph. You're quite welcome. So, uh, you know, we've heard a lot about Watson from TV, the TV shows, and, and uh, it's got a lot of mind share. It's been on 60 Minutes, uh, really good promotion and stuff like that. Uh, can you translate some of that into how it affects the industrial clients, manufacturing, and uh, stuff like that? Sure, so thank you. So Watson is really helping us to get to cognitive manufacturing. And what we mean by that is we have reams and reams of data coming out of our plants. Data is usually not, not correlated, it's, it's in silos. And what we're trying to do with Watson is, A, integrated all those data in, into the Watson platform, and then use that holistic data picture to figure out how do we improve throughput, quality, cost, and fulfillment. And the big revolution here, Ralph, is really the advent of machine learning and artificial intelligence, because we are now able to train those models much, much faster than we ever were before. To give you an example, you know, so we have a, a project where we do quality inspection for an LCD manufacturer, and there, we were able to train that model. Within four hours, it was at 95% accuracy, where typically for an operator, that would have taken about three to four weeks, and the accuracy would have been much, much lower. Wow. Uh, you know, back in the day, they would talk about uh, training artificial intelligence would take six months because you had to gradually teach it by an expert. Uh, can you talk a little bit about why that has been reduced so much and whether or not you need a... Uh, uh, a, a real strong expert to train it. Yeah, so really it's all about, it, it all comes with a platform, so if you think about implementing the platform and then you have these really revolutionary artificial intelligence machine learning algorithms that are being getting much, much faster, in part empowered by better algorithms and part empowered by better hardware, that really allows us to, to, to sift through all the data that is available faster and faster and faster. And it's really about all about data. It's the company with the most data that's going to win. And, you know, the analytics that are, that are behind, behind that, we have them, we can apply them everywhere. But, you know, the analytics we apply in manufacturing are really not all that much difference in, in, in any other operations or in, in any other areas where we're trying to, to utilize machine learning and artificial intelligence. So it's really that scale and the computing power that's really helping us to get to that next level. So... Uh Andy Chaffin in his opening keynote talked a lot about IoT platforms and positioning them, uh, attributes of some of the programs. Uh, could you talk a little bit about what makes the IBM platform unique yeah. and capable? Sure. So, so th there are really two pieces. So one is the IBM platform, and really that's all about semantic modeling, on ontologies that will help you to understand how you actually should correlate the data, how you, how you integrate the data. You know, people talk about, you know, the data lake, you know, and w what do they mean by that? When people talk about the data lake, I th often think of more, it's more of a data swamp where they dump all the data in. And what do you really get? Well, yeah, you have now all the data in the cloud, but what good does it do for you? What you really need to think about is, and this is where we are very strong at IBM, is, is these ontologies, these models that allow you to integrate the data into one holistic picture. That's point one. Point two then really is all about the cognition. And that's really where Watson, you know, the Watson, we all know who beat Ken Jennings, right, comes into play. And where we're using machine learning, artificial intelligence, continuously to improve those models. So you really get to a model that learns, which is very different from the models we had before. Before we had models, we would calibrate them over and over and over. Here you have models that get better and better with time. And that's really where we think this is gonna take off. And we really think we are at an inflection point right now where lots and lots of companies are coming to us with their industry 4.0 problems and they're asking how do we do better predictive maintenance how do i improve my throughput how do i look at my factory in real time and w we are starting to help them and uh, with integrated solutions based in our asset management solutions maximo is the key word here we have data in maximo uh, going back like 15 20 years with from our customers 
we have a market share that is uh, about 17, 18% leading in the business. So we are the company in the asset management business that has the most data, that has the most experience in it. And that's why we are thinking that we are in a, in a very good position to take advantage of the, of the advent of machine learning, artificial intelligence together with the platform and Maximum. Wow, this is really interesting stuff. The, the cognitive computer, computing, IOT. Um, so we need to, I think, bridge a conversation over to applications and how to get started. Uh, what kind of recommendations would you recommend for somebody to, to get started with this kind of solution? So it just, it just really depends on the customer. It, it really does. So do you have Maximo? On, your, on, on prem or, or in, a, in a SaaS solution already? If yes, we can start with thinking about how do we get to asset health management where we're going towards condition-based and, and predictive maintenance that helps you to take care of your assets before they break down. So I think that's a, that's a good st starting point. So it's all about really all about asset optimization. If you have that already, then we can go to the next step and we can say, all right, so you have your assets are taken care of, now let's look at your operations and how do we help you improve throughput, quality, cost, and fulfillment, so more of an operations optimization play. And it's really the interplay between asset optimization and operations optimization is really where that sweet spot is. And uh, I want to tell you, you know, so you can really choose all three parts, or, or, you know, asset, enterprise asset management, asset optimization, as well as operations optimization as entry points. And then you go, you go from there. So if you start with operations optimization, you go back to asset, asset optimization or vice versa. If you have an enterprise asset management on, or you're already there, then you probably want to go to asset optimization. It really depends on where you are. Um, and you know, we, are, we are happy to help anybody to, to look at what they have in terms of data, in terms of infrastructure, and then think about how we can help them to get to that industry 4.0 solution that everybody is seeking. Wow. Well, thank you very much for the insights around cognitive computing, uh, Watson IoT, uh, very interesting. Pleasure to be here, thank you, Ralph. We've been talking with Stefan Biller of the IBM Watson Group. Thank you for listening.